Hi, I started writing my article, Progressives, um, Progressive or Liberal? Pick one because you can't be both. A few months ago when Tim Farron, leader of the Liberal Democrats in the United Kingdom, resigned from his leadership position of that party. Um, I didn't get round to finishing it until just recently, but what I wanted to explore was the, the competing views between progressives and liberals. It's often a mistake that people make that you think that liberal and progressive are the same thing when they're not. The progressive has a ideal, almost utopian view of what the future should be like, and they will support individual things in line with getting to that utopian view. The liberal is different. The liberal puts individual liberty as the highest value. So the progressive will sometimes seem to be promoting um, a liberal view where it is in line with their ideal society. So a perfect example of this is gay rights. Um, so for the progressive, they want a society where where gays are free to do what they want and practice what they want. And this is the same as, as liberals. However, um, the progressive does not extend that same freedom to people who don't believe that. So, for example, religious minorities, for example, Christians and so on, who have a more conservative view on those issues. So this is where it contrasts. The, the liberal tolerates both views. So regardless of their own personal view, you can either support, for example, same-sex marriage or not. But you, um, there's tolerance um, for both groups in society where the progressive wants to force acceptance of same-sex marriage on, on everyone. And they're quite willing to use the force of the state to achieve that. So when Tim Farron resigned, this is what he said. He said, to be a political leader, especially of a progressive liberal party in 2017, and to live as a committed Christian, to hold faithfully to the Bible's teachings, has felt impossible for me. I'm a liberal to my thim fingertips, and liberalism means that I am passionate about defending the rights and liberties of people whose beliefs, who believe different things from me. So I would say that that definition there is a liberal, not a progressive one. But I think Tim Farron confuses the two, and it's no surprise that in the long run, he was unable to uh, unable to uh, remain in his party because his views were were contradictory to the progressive views of his party. Um, so even though in in his circumstance, I'll just explain, and I do explain more in the article, that even though he su he supported same sex marriage, as in the legal right to do it. His private views were that he did not accept it. But they, this is unacceptable to the pro progressive. The progressive requires acceptance, not tolerance. So in the article, I really explore the difference between the two. Um, and unfortunately in our society, we've, we're going down the progressive path of requiring acceptance of certain ideas. And you see this with things like safe schools, the way multiculturalism is um, promoted throughout our society, the diversity agenda, all, all of these things. Uh, so you cannot hold a contradictory view. There's no tolerance there. There is a set progressive view that you will accept. And if you, um, you know, express your free speech against those views, you'll be punished. And this is very, very different from the liberal tradition. So what I argue for in the article is that we need to defend the liberal tradition and promote the liberal tradition because the progressive tradition will only lead to conflict and disaster. We all need to learn to tolerate things that we don't necessarily accept and we can't expect the state to come and enforce our view on other people.